Hello students, today let us see a problem from the group, from the topic groups under the chapter algebraic structures. This is a problem. We have to prove that the set of integers under usual addition is an abelian group. Actually, we are having three different techniques. Suppose the set given is a finite set, we are going to use Cayley's composition table to verify the four properties, closure, associative, identity and inverse. If it is an infinite set and the operation is defined by the question setter, then we have to use arbitrary elements to verify the above properties, A, B, C like that. Suppose the set is infinite set, but the operation is well-known operation like addition, usual addition, usual multiplication, matrix addition, matrix multiplication like that, then we cannot prove that property. These are all well-known properties. So just we are going to illustrate them with examples. So in this problem, the set is an infinite set and the operation is our usual addition that is well-known operation. So we are going to prove the properties using illustrative examples. Actually, we are not going to prove, just we are going to see some examples for each of these properties. First, let us take two, uh, the first closure property. Two integers let me take, a comma b. When we add two integers, it is very trivial that the summation is also an integer. So whenever we take a comma b belongs to a set, a plus b is also in he said that let us illustrate with an example. A is equal to minus 3, B equal to 2 if we take. A plus B is minus 1, that is also an integer, belongs to A set. And let us prove the associative property. Three integers A, B, C let us take. We have to prove A plus B plus C equal to A plus B plus C. This is also trivial under usual addition. And let us illustrate with the example. A equal to minus 4, B is equal to 2, C is equal to 1. So, minus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is minus 1. And minus 4 plus 2 plus 1, that is also minus 1. So, these two are equal. So, associative property is verified. We can only verify, not prove. And third one is identity property. Whenever take we take an element from an integer set, then the additive identity is 0, we know it. So that A plus the identity element is A and identity element plus A is also A. So we can, we have proved identity property is there. Inverse property. If A belongs to A set, then naturally the additive inverse is minus A. That let us verify. Element with its inverse must give the identity. Identity is here zero. So element is A, its inverse is minus A. When we operate these two, naturally it is going to be 0, which is the identity, additive identity. Similarly, inverse plus element is also the identity. So the four properties are verified. Is it comma plus is a group. And lastly, to prove it is an abelian group, let us prove the commutative property. A comma B belongs to is set. If we take A plus B must be equal to B plus A, that is trivial. And let us verify it with one example, a equal to minus 5, b equal to 2 if we take a plus b equal to minus 3, that is equal to 2 plus minus 5, that is b plus a. So commutative property is also verified. So is that comma plus is an abelian group. With this, this problem is over and let us see another problem in the next video. Thank you.